Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got something for you. How many times have you had to deal with passengers? Too many passengers for the vehicle that they requested. You got four or five, five or six people that want to get into an Uber X and you've got 10 people that want to get into an XL. I have a little clip. Well, stick around. Let me show you what happened. Okay, so how many people can you fit into your car versus how many people that are legally allowed to be in your vehicle? Well, on Uber X, it's and 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 uh, Lyft standard is four. The video clip I'm going to show you, however, happened during the end of COVID when we still had the front seat basically cordoned off. <laughs> And you can only take three passengers in a, uh, an Uber X or a Lyft standard. I had four or five. I want to say it was four people. And the video, you know what? Check out the video and then we'll get back to it. Here we go. Uber. Hey, right here. Uber. Hey, but on the set, you took too long to pick up the homegirls. I'm sorry? Are you the Uber? Yes, ma'am. You took too long. Don't do that shit again. All right, don't do that again. I'm sorry. What did you just say to me? Ma'am. You took too long. Don't do that shit again. All right, don't do that again. All right? I'll tell you what. Huh? I'll tell you what. She can cancel the ride. I'm leaving. Have a nice night. Hey, this well, is not, hey, hey, no, it's not us. This is us. I, they're the one. I'm not taking an attitude. I'm that's sorry. Not that's us. not us. That's, that's nobody. This that's is our ride. Our ride. Not them. That's not, that was them. How many are there? It's only four. You can only take three. We what just freaking paid you to come over here. What do you if mean? If you look on the app, it says you can only have three on Uber X. It don't say that on the app. Though. It doesn't yes, say it does. that on the app. How are you gonna tell? Oh, look, look, look. Hold on. Hold on. So we need our money back. What do you mean? Uber X, right there. That's your app, right? Well, can you Three give us people. our money back? I can cancel it. Are we gonna get our money back? You won't get charged for the ride, no. I mean, you'll get you won't get charged for the I ride, know. but I'll, I will get charged for the ride. You will not get charged okay, for the ride. Did you, did you cancel it? I know I did not just pay for no Uber. I just gonna say we can't get it. No. It's only one more person. You got four seats. Yeah, it's, it says three. You cancel it. Cancel it. And, and if I cancel it, you're gonna get charged. We you need to get. I understand. We're gonna get charged. You're gonna get. Well, you guys, guys. Can, can I talk for a second, please? Okay, go. Okay, first of all. On the app, it says three, not four. Okay? okay, that's the first thing. Second of all, you all need you're all gonna need masks. Third, when it says three and you try to get four, nobody's gonna take you unless you go with an XL. Okay, which which but takes can five. You just, can you just take us? It's only one more person. I'm not breaking the law for for How five dollars. Oh, because. All right, can you cancel? Can we? Not get charged for this right thing. You're gonna get a cancellation fee. Okay, but you're canceling. Okay, but you're canceling. You're canceling. What do you mean? You should have never canceled. You're How am I supposed to know how many people are gonna show you're up? You're canceling the ride, so we should not get charged no, for nothing you're gonna get at a, all. You're gonna get a cancellation fee either way, whether I cancel it or you cancel it. You're gonna cancel get a cancellation my ride. fee. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. I haven't even. I'll just cancel it. have it on. Cancel it. I can't. Yeah, what the fuck do you mean you can't? What yeah, the fuck do you mean you can't? Cancel it! Excuse, can you back up a little sec, please? Bro, I'm gonna really get mad, bro. So you need to back the fuck up. 
Okay. My bad. Back up. He just left. Back up. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's all on camera. It's all on camera. Okay. You just need back away from my vehicle. Can you back away? Can you back away from my vehicle, please? Okay. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna ask you one more time before you get pepper sprayed. Back away from the vehicle. Thank you very much. God damn. All right. So yeah, I threw in a couple of uh, little quips in there just to make it a little more interesting. But you as a driver, especially now, do not get paid enough to deal with that kind of crap. And the reason I pulled out my pepper spray was because at the time you can hear the girls in the background. There were four of them. However, there were five additional males at that location for a total of nine people. Two of those males were standing literally in front of my car. The other three were coming in at the windows, plus the girls that were all at the side window also. So again, keep your doors locked and only crack your window if you need to. However, they actually had me boxed in and there was no way I was going to let anything happen. There was no way they were going to trap me. So you're damn right. I grabbed my pepper spray and I was ready to defend myself. And they backed off and I left. And this is the joys of rideshare. And this happens all the time. Unfortunately, a lot of drivers give in. And when you do, that's where you wind up having a problem. That's where you wind up getting a bad rating if that really matters to you or not and if it does you're going to get a bad rating and that's where you put yourself in danger because now you've got people that are pissed off and you're giving into their whatever entitlement and now they think they own you they already think they own you they like you heard i paid you well no you didn't pay me i didn't start the trip but the risk is not worth the reward in that case you have to watch out for yourself. You have to be smart. Again, in this case, they literally had people standing in front of my vehicle. And rather than just drive over them, <laughs> I don't think that would have been a good idea. I grabbed my pepper spray, and you're damn right. I was ready to use it. In California, Uber says drivers may carry pepper spray or a taser. Now, Lyft... It's a little different. Lyft says you can't carry anything. I don't care. I'm an independent contractor. So I'm not going to say what I do and what I don't carry. But I am going to protect myself and whatever means necessary. And if that means literally driving, using my vehicle to push someone out of the way, that's fine. If my life is in danger or I feel threatened and that my life is in danger, then I have the right to protect myself. And I have to, and I have the legal right to use whatever ne means necessary to do that. So, when you get up on these rides, and you can, you can hear me trying to explain, you know, how do we know how many people are actually going to be at the pick pickup until we actually get there? We don't. Dr passengers are always going to try to, you know, get the most out of what little they have to pay. And Uber and Lyft are going to always side with that passenger should they file a complaint. Since I had them cancel the ride, they canceled. So there was no complaint filed. And if there was, I'd have dealt with it. Kind of like what I'm doing with Uber right now. I had a very similar situation. This was just one passenger and a female. And now Uber's going to pay me $10,000 because of the lawsuit. And I'll put that up in a corner somewhere. And uh, you guys can watch that video because I explain exactly what I'm doing in that lawsuit. But again, you don't make enough on any of these platforms to deal with that kind of crap. To deal with these entitled, whatever you want to call them. And I believe that they were all under the age of 18. Simply by the way they were acting. Now, of course, adults act that way too. But it was, you know, a total of nine people I was dealing with. And... No, it wasn't going to happen. So keep your doors locked. Keep your windows up. Always try to gauge the situation. Do what we used to do as first responders, which is called scene assessment. 
When you're pulling into an area, look around. See what's around you. How well is it lit? Are there a lot of alcoves? Is it, a, you know, is it sketchy? If you're not comfortable, cancel the ride. Notify a Lyft or Uber and say, hey, man, this area, I was, mm -mm, nope, didn't like it. And document it. And leave. Because the last thing you want is to become the next story on the news. So I hope that helps out a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, be safe, be professional, keep it real. And if you must, drive on. Until next time, I wish you all the best of health. Thanks for watching.